Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ivan Ramy from Bot and Cop Bot Support back again with another video. I had a lot of success last drop, so I'm really excited to go over a new bot that I have been using. This video is going to cover my Dakota setup for Walmart console drops. Make sure to watch my previous videos, which I cover Target, GameStop, and other sites. Once again, these videos go over my written guides that I already made for a cook group, Bot and Cop. Right here, I also have the SKUs and offer IDs pulled up ahead of time. If you need a cook group to grab this info and much more, considering joining Bot & Cop, I'll drop a free 3-day trial for you guys so you guys can check out what we have to offer. Let's go ahead and jump into the setup. So for Walmart, you know that um, they have some Walmart Plus drops as well as just regular Walmart uh, drops. So you'll need some accounts ahead of time. So there's two different ways you can tackle botting Walmart. One way is having your accounts ahead of time. Um, with the Koza, it does it does allow you to generate auto generate, or you can enter your account. So for this, if you were to enter your enter your account manually, just make sure um, you follow this. So you click on Add New Account. The delay you can leave this at zero. Uh, hold Captcha is the best Captcha to use right now. And also, I would prefer you, I would recommend you guys to use Resis. Uh, some Resis that I use that have been working really great for Walmart are AYCD Resis. And then also make sure to put your email and your password here. Since I already have all my um, accounts entered, I'm going to go ahead and just click, click cancel. But you would just click submit. You don't have to worry about advanced settings. So then it would tell you right here and then you would just check and verify that your accounts are working. You click this plus or this play button right here and it's going to say solving PX. Also, the reason why I recommend Resis is because um, ISPs don't do really don't aren't really good at solving for PX. Um, this is PX is basically Walmart's way of anti botting us with uh, those fake uh, ISP. So Resis just do a better better job at solving that for us. So right here it says ready. And then also when you make your profile, you'll need that ahead of time before you bought Walmart. So make sure when you create a profile that you use the same email for that account. So once again, your email for your profile must match your session email. Um, since I already have my profiles made, I'm going to go ahead and skip this step and let's jump into the task themselves. So over, over here, um, you can just click create new, um, and name this and then select Walmart. Um, I already have a task group for us, so let's go ahead and click that. So Dakota is a little bit different. Um, you don't need any monitors, uh, especially when we know ahead of time when the drops happen. So I'm going to go ahead and click create new task. The mode that's been working the best is account mode. So I'm going to click that. And then for account, this is where you add that you added that session with your email. I'm going to go ahead and click one that I already have made. And then delay. So delay, um, since most of the time it's Q, you just have to put um, around 5,000 is what they recommend. So I'm going to go, go ahead and put 5,000. And... Profile, this is the reminder again, this profile is the one that matches the email with your account. So this profile right here has bondcob101 at gmail.com in its settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And proxy list, once again, uh, resis have been working well. I'm going to drop you guys uh, a promo code with the ones I use. Um, they're called AYCD Oxy Labs Resis. I'll drop that down below so you guys can use them and you'll see that they work for Walmart. Amount, you just need one. Capture type, again, hold is the best way to go. And then quantity one, of course. And then here you want to make sure you click pause after registration slash login. The reason is because you're going to be starting these tasks about 30 to one hour before the actual drop happens. That way you're your tasks are logged in and ready to start that's really important um because if you do it like right when the drop happens your your tasks are, are going to have a hard time logging in because everybody's trying to log in at the same time so go ahead and click that purchase walmart plus uh if you don't already have it you do that but since this account already has walmart plus i'm going to leave that unselected 
stop after success make sure to click that you don't um normally walmart will cancel anything after one console uh, per SKU. so just just go ahead and be safe and leave that um checked ignore monitor and i'm gonna go ahead and grab that offer id from our cook group There we go. I'm going to go ahead and click submit. You don't have to worry about advanced settings. These are perfectly fine. They, I just left that uh, unselected. So I'm going to click so, submit, close that out. And then you're going to see um, it's going to be logging in, initializing task. It might update the payment. Yep. Adding shipping. There you go. So right here was when it says pause. That's perfect for right before the drop like i said it's like 30 minutes before you're going to start these and they're all going to be paused that's the goal and then let's say it's one minute before the drop one or two minutes before the drop you would just click start again you can also do select all by doing this uh and then you would click start and right here it's going to say checking for queue obviously there's no queue right now i'm just showing you guys how it would work um but if it did it would put you in line for the queue you only need one task per account on each um skew so this would just be um uh, for for this example i had discs so i wouldn't have to worry about that but i would make another one for digital and xbox so it's going to cycle through and say checking for a queue obviously like again like i like i said there's no queue right now so it's just looking for that the is really smart it'll it'll check for queue and then switch its checkout type to that mode otherwise if there was no queue it would still work so it's really awesome not to worry about that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to auto generate now. So, um, first of all, you'll have to make sure you leave this blanked. Um, this is gonna be generating from your profile. You have an option um, on the profile that you use. You can use a profile that uses your catch all or um, a Gmail that, that it can use to make accounts for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and click one that I know. So I'll go ahead and go with the Gmail example. Um, and then delay again, 5,000 is fine. AYCD Oxylabs is what I use. Um, let's go ahead and click one, hold. A lot of these are repeated, stop after, ignore monitor. And let's go ahead and enter a offer ID. And then grab that again. Actually, I think I have it pasted. Yep. Cool. So once again, um, when you're selecting a profile, make sure to use one that's already has a Gmail or you can use your catch all. Um, it's up to you. Both work. I'm going to go ahead and click submit. And then this time um, when it generates, it's going to say generate an account. Yep. Registering accounts and it's solving for PX. And once again, you're not using any monitors. This is all on the task itself. It's adding a payment on that new account and it says pause. And then the same thing, you would just click start. Adding a cart. There's no queue. It's just going to check for that. Um, and that's basically it. If uh, if this was Walmart Plus, you would make sure the, the accounts you entered have Walmart Plus already attached to them. If not, um, you can also choose this option where it says purchase. You can edit this and then start it again and it'll purchase it, especially on auto-generated accounts. If you wanted to go that route, you can. Um, other than that, I think that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Um, I'll do my best to answer any questions you guys have. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next and I hope you guys have a great day.